Facing charges of manslaughter and abuse after the death of her 17 month old daughter. Now this case is out of Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Because of the extent of the injuries to the toddler, she was flown for treatment to East Tennessee Children's Hospital here in Knoxville. Tennis reporter Mary Klingler joins us with more from investigators about how this child died. Mary. Yeah, John Robin, this toddler's violent death has shaken the Middlesbrough community, and now the mother is being held at Bell County Detention Center for her part in this tragedy. If somebody would be, could be that sick out there to let this go on. It's that bad. Middlesbrough Police Chief Petey Gilbert says this investigation is leading to shocking discoveries. I have seen some kids like that, but not. Not this age. 21-year-old Erica Lawson is being held at Bell County Detention Center and charged with manslaughter, failure to report child abuse, criminal abuse, and wanton endangerment. In my time with the Commonwealth, this is one of the most severe cases of abuse, specifically because that baby is 17 months old at that time. Police say the child's injuries were a result of abuse, including sexual assault, and expect the mother to face more severe charges. We'll provide the words born every avenue. And, and lead and clue that we can uh, to apprehend the individual that's responsible. <clears throat> Police say the child's father has not been charged with a crime at this time. At this time, mother and father were not together. The father is not a suspect at this time, but that could always change. Attorney Lisa Fugate says it's up to the community to prevent tragedies like this from happening in the future. What's disheartening is the public's response. If a child is abused, report it. Don't withhold it, don't go on, report it, call someone, do something, um, because this could very well be a different outcome had that been the case. Now the community is planning a candlelit vigil tomorrow evening at City Hall. It's expected to begin at 7 and anyone is welcome to join in and showing their support to get justice for that little girl.